Dorchester County Council unanimously decided last month to stop sending notifications about mosquito spraying to registered businesses and people too. But the change is concerning some local beekeepers. News 2's Dorchester County reporter Stetson Miller went to speak with them today and learn more about how this could affect bees in the county. Nearly three years ago, millions of bees were killed in Dorchester County after an aerial mosquito spring. Since then, the county has sent out notifications to registered businesses and residents about the spring, but now they've decided to discontinue those notifications. Right now, president of Charleston Community Bee Gardens, Jim Strom, receives calls from Dorchester County before they spray for mosquitoes. That helps him know when to prepare his hives in the Somerville area so that his bees don't get killed by insecticide. But he was concerned after he got this letter in the mail recently, letting him know that individual notifications would be ending and instead the county would comply with state pesticide notice requirements. Now the notices will be sent out through media outlets no less than 24 hours before the spraying happens. In other words, the onus is on the beekeeper to find out when they're spraying. The change was made by Dorchester County Council at its May 20th meeting, but the county cannot elaborate on why the change was made because of ongoing litigation. It's set to become effective on August 5th. Jim is concerned that if beekeepers aren't looking out for the notices, more bees could die again, like they did in the summer of 2016. I'm very concerned because we're going down the exact same path. We haven't learned anything from the previous lessons. It could easily kill our bees and we would have a massive kill off of the bees. And you can find the Dorchester County Mosquito Ground Spray schedule on its website and it's updated every two weeks. In North Charleston, Stetson Miller, count on two.